Hello and welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. Got a question, suggestion, or a topic you'd like to see covered, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up PHP IPAM on Ubuntu. This is a short video, about five to 10 minutes. And basically I'm covering <clears throat> a script that I've already created and I'll put on the Git site that goes through and sets up automatically um, a lamp stamp, a lamp stack with Apache 2, MariaDB, uh, Linux, uh, and PHP 8.2. And the script, you can, you'll be able to go through and see all these pieces and parts. Um, the database is automated and the automations at the top of the screen, uh, if you look here, I set up the configurable settings in here and the root password for the database. So this is for Debian 11 or later, so Bullseye and Ubuntu 2.0 or 20.04 and uh, Ubuntu 22.04 Jammy Jellyfish. This is what I'm basing my setup on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started running. <clears throat> and we'll let that run through. It has to update the server. Uh, this is a fresh, completely new uh, Ubuntu uh, Jammy Fish. Um, I also, at the very end, there's a script that you would run once you've set up the server. So I'm going to let this run through and pause and come back when it's done. All right. So also, I don't know if I, I forgot if I mentioned um, Ubuntu has a default to install PHP 8.1. I have it removed and upgraded to 8.2. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is finished. So let me grab this. We'll go to the web portion. <clears throat> so in here, we have a new installation. Um, the reason I'm turning that off is I've already installed the database. So you only really need to grab your password. And my root MySQL password is defined right there in the script. So you'll be able to change that on your own. And so then the admin password, you need to set this up. Save the settings. So now we have this, the installation script to um, update. So the installation script, or sorry, the that piece of it, I can actually, I created a, a post GUI setup. So that's this, and that should, if we hit refresh, right, that's done. And then we can log in <clears throat> and there we go. Pretty simple. And right, you can see we already have the database. It's all good. Uh, well, that's pretty much it for setting up you, um, PHP IPAM on Ubuntu. Um, that wraps up today's walkthrough. Thanks so much for watching. If this has helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So you'll be the first to know when new content drops. If you ran into any issues or have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to leave a comment. I do my best to respond to everyone. If there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know. Until next time, take care and happy building.